Everything is going well. Your business, revenues and profits are skyrocketing. And bam, just like that, you hit with a lawsuit. And the lawsuit for what? Trademark infringement and passing off. What is a suit for trademark or infringement and passing off? It is when a lawsuit is filed against you for using a logo or a name that is the same as or similar to someone else's prior adopted and registered trademark. Now this is a common problem that is encountered by many small and medium sized businesses and having catered to many clients with small and medium sized businesses, I am well aware of the kinds of legal challenges that they face on a day to day basis. And I must say that trademark infringement and passing off is the kind of lawsuit that you would really like to avoid because it can get so messy, it can create so many other hurdles in your business. So if you can avoid getting into this kind of dispute, there's nothing better, you know, you should just choose a trademark attorney who will do proper search for you and you know tell you about the kind of trademark that you can adopt for your business have it registered on time and you know help you go about your business hassle free but you know what happens if you do take these steps and a case is still filed against you right or you didn't take those steps and now you know you're faced with a lawsuit and you just need to get legal help right away so what is it that you can do you know first of all you must engage an attorney and enter appearance in this lawsuit and defend yourself right to avoid having an injunction order passed against you an injunction order is an order that would restrain you from using that particular trademark or that particular logo or brand name that you're using that you know you're selling your goods or services under so once you enter an appearance right you will also have to put up some very good defenses in order to try and have the case decided in your favor or by having the lawsuit for infringement you know to have that lawsuit dismissed or to have that case settled between the parties in your favor in such a manner that you know it is favorable to and you and not the person who has sued you. So that's what I'm going to talk about in today's episode. The kind of defenses that you can put up when faced with a lawsuit for trademark infringement and passing off. And in order to explain this to you, I'll also draw upon my own personal experiences from handling trademark lawsuits, you know, both for the party that is suing the other side or for the party that is, you know, facing that lawsuit and having to defend itself before the Delhi High Court and also before other courts in India. So well for one, you know, one of the main defences that you can take up is the defence of delay, right? Have the, has this other side filed the lawsuit after they came to know about your usage of the logo or trade name? Did they send you a legal notice first, right? Or did they only file that lawsuit say after a year or more after sending the legal notice, right? So then you can say that their lawsuit suffers from delay, right? You can say that they have known about your existence all this time and yet they took legal action and filed the lawsuit only after the passage of a very long period of time, right? You can also take the defense of acquiescence. This means that they have acquiesced or somehow consented to your usage of the trademark uh, by, you know, giving some sort of an implied acceptance. And even after that, they are now filing the lawsuit against you. So the reasoning behind these defenses of delay or of acquiescence in trademark suits is that they did not file the suit in a timely manner and this allowed you to build up the brand name you know of your business and uh, you know sell and market goods and services under this brand name for a very long time and now customers know you by this name they recognize you by this name or logo and you know you have a very good goodwill and reputation in the market and it's also going to cause you economic loss because they chose to file this lawsuit after such a long period of time even after they knew of your existence so these are some two of the main defenses that you can take in a trademark infringement suit but there are many more defenses that you can adopt right there are some defenses that you can take up regarding the very trademark adopted by the plaintiff right and the plaintiff here means the party that has filed the lawsuit so one defense could be that the trademark of the plaintiff is generic right it is general or it is common to the trade and there's nothing distinctive about their trademark there's nothing in that trademark which makes the public uh, recognize their brand right say for example there's something like uh, something which is very descriptive right that is also something which can be which can be challenged as a trademark so say somebody is selling ice cream and their trademark their trade name is ice cream itself so that is something which trademark law simply does not allow and in such a case even if they have managed to get their trademark registered you can challenge that in court as a defendant and say that uh, it has been wrongly registered and uh, that you should you know they should not be allowed to claim such a monopoly on this kind of a mark and that you can continue to use the mark that you're already using 
another defense that you may take up is that the trademark that they are using is a surname or a family name right or that it is the name of a geographic area or a city particularly if the goods or services being sold under that trademark have some connection to that geographic area right you can also argue that the market of the plaintiff that is the party that has sued you and your market as the defendant are different or that the goods and services are of a different kind right where the nature of the goods and services being sold by the plaintiff and the defendant under the conflicting marks are itself different you have a very good chance of success and of having the entire suit dismissed right because the whole case of trademark infringement and passing off is based on that the goods and services are similar and being sold under similar looking trademarks right so you can also make an argument of non use right meaning that the so called trademark of the plaintiff is not really being used by them in the market and they just have registered it in order to block the register and prevent other parties from entering the market and using that brand name this is actually a very clever tactic being used by big players to control and dominate the market and lastly one of the most important defenses is that no actual confusion should be caused right is is being caused between two consumers between the two marks right that the overall appearance of the two trademarks the conflicting trademarks is so different from each other that just because of some mild similarity a customer is not going to confuse one for the other right after all the whole basis of trademark lawsuits is that customers are confusing one brand for the other so if you can show the court that there is no real confusion being caused to customers in the market well then bingo you have won the case so that's about it for today i hope you enjoyed today's episode and got something useful which may help your business in the unfortunate event that a trademark infringement suit is filed against you if such a thing does happen be sure to reach out to your lawyer asap